All right, check it out. Now that you have access to music reports, you will be able to get um, into the portal and you'll see a page like this. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to update your music reports account. So from your catalog management, you wanna click on my catalog. In the catalog, yours is probably empty right now because you haven't submitted any recordings. So what we're going to do is download the spreadsheet and the spreadsheet is in Excel form. So I'm going to give you guys a tip on how you can update your spreadsheet without having Excel. Go on to Microsoft.com, sign up for a free Microsoft 360 account. When you get access to that 360 account, they'll let you use the Microsoft um, office suite online for free so they have OneNote, Teams, OneDrive, Outlook, PowerPoint, Excel and also Word so we're using Excel so go ahead and sign up get your free account and once you get in that account you'll see uh, something like this and then you want to click on Excel then once you get that we want to go back to our spreadsheet which is going to be the publishing catalog template and you just want to drag it into your Excel window so that it can open up. So give me a second, mine's is opening up right now. It's converting my files. Alright, here we go. So this is what your Excel sheet is going to look like once you have it open. And now we're going to run through very quickly how to update this spreadsheet. Most of the information that you need for this spreadsheet will either be with your distributor or your performance rights organization. So, an ISWC number, those are provided to you by performance rights organizations. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what an ISRC or ISWC number looks like. Alright, so I'm going to search YouTube, I mean not YouTube, this is BMI. I'm going to search BMI, I'm going to go ahead and search my name because I should have some associated with my name. Alright, so let's just click on one. Okay, good, so I clicked on one of my songs. And so his, this is the ISWC number for this song. This song is called All These Girls. So when you go to your BMI or ASCAP account, that's where you're going to find this number. If you do not have a publisher, you probably sh probably won't have that number. Um, then your unique, unique publisher ID, that's also found with your performance rights organization. So your publisher ID will be right here. That's it. And then you want to move forward. Composers. Composers are people who wrote on the song. You are the composer. What is your composer performance rights organization? That is either BMI, ASCAP, or if you are from another country. Um, here is where you will enter the name of your publisher. Here is where you will enter your publishing administrator. So for you guys who are using TuneCore or CD Baby as your publishing administrator, then you would... Uh, put those names in but if you're publishing yourself then you just put the word self and then your pub your publisher's performance rights affiliation so if you're affiliated with ASCAP then usually you'll put ASCAP here and this is where you specify the percentages so if you're 100 percent 110 and so on and so forth you want to enter an address for your publishing company you want to enter a contact number for your publishing company and you also want to enter the territory controlled so that would be worldwide if you're not collecting worldwide then you put the specific territories here's where you want to put the artist name the album title if this is not an album then you will put the title of the song in this box if this is a label you have a label put the label here ISRC so for a lot of artists they don't know what an ISRC is. I'm going to show you exactly what an ISRC is. I want to sign into the digital kid account. Hopefully I can get in because I always have issues with getting on digital kid. But an ISRC is found in your digital kid account. Um, and that's what you're going to enter right here. Yeah, it's taking a while. 
So once you have done all of this, you want to save your Excel file right from online. So you hit file, save as, and then you want to download a copy. When you download that copy, you're going to take that copy, go back to music reports, and you're going to upload. And then, uh, no, actually, sorry, you're going to choose the file, then you're going to upload it. Once you upload it, you're sending it to music reports, and then you're going to come back to music reports to see if the songs are correctly incident, and then they'll let you know, and then slowly but surely, you'll start seeing your songs pop up in this uh, catalog and when you see them pop up in this catalog if it's incorrect you hit incorrect so you can revise it if everything is right you just click 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 and then hit save and now this is your catalog right here and then if you're looking for songs that you know that you're a part of but you don't necessarily own a percentage you also can search for those songs right here um, in the claiming box so um, yeah this is how you upload your music reports catalog make sure you subscribe to my channel it's your girl Agobani keep it locked